Hello guys, today we will see what is bit masking and how it is performed by bitwise gates. Before we directly go to the bit masking, let us see what is masking. <coughs> masking is, is a technique in which we select or remove specific data from the given data. In the first image, we have extracted an emoji and house from the given picture and we have selected area on the right side. Whereas in the second image, we have removed the emoji and the house from the given picture and we have got the remaining area as our data. So similarly, bit masking works in the same fashion. It selects bits, clears or inverts the bits and in this example we can see that from AX, lower byte of AX is retained and higher byte uh, is set to 1. Similarly, in the next example, we are clearing the lower bit of A and lower byte of A and in the last example, we are inverting the lower byte of A. Bit masking can be performed by bitwise gate operations such as bitwise AND, bitwise R, or bitwise ZOR operation. In OR masking, you need a new register as a mask. Its values are based on the requirement of your problem. For example, in case of OR masking, if we wish to retain lower byte of AX and hide the higher byte, we just have a mask which has ones on the higher byte and zeros on the lower byte. After performing the R operation on BX and AX, we get the lower byte of AX into the lower byte of uh, BX, whereas the higher byte of AX into the set to the maximum. In case of AND masking, if we wish to clean the lower byte of AX and retain the higher byte, we just have a mask which has ones on the higher byte and zeros on the lower byte. After performing the AND operation on BX and AX, we get higher byte of AX into the higher byte of, uh, into the higher byte of BX, whereas the lower byte of uh, BX is set to zero. In case of ZOR masking, if you wish to invert the lower byte of AX and retain the higher byte, we just have a mask which has ones on the higher byte and zeros on the lower. After performing an operation on the BX and AX, we have higher byte of AX into the higher byte of BX, whereas the lower byte of uh, BX is inverted and we have just invert of lower byte of AX into the lower byte of BX. So we start from the activities. So in this activity, the problem is to swap individual pair of bits with each other this way so what is the solution of this it is it is not being done by shift rotate oper operations or rotate operations because it is swapping the individual bits so therefore to solve this activity we first separate the bits at odd indexes and the bits at the even indexes through and masking so <coughs> this is done by uh, masking at 1010 one, indices through all the locations of O. When we end it with AX, it will copy all values of AX to the O indices of BX. Similarly, for the values of even indices, we mask 0101 zero, one, zero, one throughout all the locations of E. And we have to end it with A and we get the uh, all values of the even indices uh, copied at the index of E. Now we have separated the bits of AX at odd and even indices in step 1 and now step 2 is to swap them by shifting the values at even indices to odd place and values at odd indices to even place. 
so lastly we use the bitwise or operation uh, for merging both e and o in these simple steps we can perform swapping of bit at uh, each other so activity 2 this activity is similar to similar to activity 1 we have to swap the two adjacent bits together in this way to solve it we only change the mask to select two bits of both o and e this way 1100110 and so on and for the e we have 0011001101 and so on and then we shift uh, them by two bytes because we have to swap the two bits so we will uh, shift o and e uh, to the left and right as in activity 1 by two bits so in this way we will perform the activity 2 the other position is same as activity 1 activity 3 is also similar to activity 1 and 2 we just have to swap 4 adjacent bit together like this way to solve it we change the mask to select 4 bits for both O and E and shift both O and E by 4 other position is same as activity 1 thanks for watching and hope you have enjoyed our content and for more demonstrations please see our channel and also subscribe for upcoming exciting topics in future thank you